Thank you for watching, liking, commenting, sharing, and subscribing right now. Hey there, Locker Gnome. This is Matt Ryan, a.k.a. The Frugal Geek, and today I just wanted to go over white balancing with you. What white balancing is, basically, is uh, when it's done on a camera, it's the way the camera can find out what type of lighting is going on in the room and how that affects uh, how the whites look. Uh, so, for example, a white balance uh, done in a room lit with soft white light, which is actually kind of a yellowish tint, is going to look different than a room lit with sunlight. So by white balancing the camera beforehand, that's not always an option, so this is why I'm going over it in iMovie, you are able to, uh, to make the image look more true to life. So in this case, they were using an iPhone to record, and white balancing on the iPhone is kind of eh, almost non-existent. So what we have here is a video that is somewhat yellow, and it's, it's washed with yellow because of the wall. The wall has kind of a yellowish uh, tint in Chris's home. So we have 10 seconds of video uh, blocked out so that we can just take a look at how to improve the way it looks and make it look more like you're actually there looking at the scene take place. So the first thing you can do is you can go over to the to the video and click on the little cogwheel, go to video adjustments, and this will bring up a whole set of options including exposure, brightness, contrast, saturation, red, green, and blue gain, and the white point. By bringing this menu up, you're getting this eyedropper, which is a tool that allows you to select something in the frame that's white. One handy tip and the best way to white balance is to, before you start recording your scene, hold up a white card. An index card is fine, just the back of it, not the side with the lines. Hold it up in front of the camera where you're standing. And what can happen is the editor can take this little eyedropper, point to it, click it, and the white balancing will be perfect. That'll keep them from having to adjust saturation, contrast, brightness, and exposure just to make the image look the way it's supposed to look. In this case, we don't have a white index card. I'm not going to click on this uh, thermostat here because that thermostat in real life is probably an off-white, an eggshell, or a beige. The closest thing to white in this entire room that I can see is likely the canvas that was used in this painting. So what I'm going to do here is I'm going to click on that canvas and immediately the image changes. That's because the white balance point, which is down here over in the uh, lower left area of your screen, you'll see it here, has been shifted over to a, a bluish area. And what that does is that adds a little bit more blue and kills a little bit of the yellow, which is on the opposite side of that spectrum. So by doing that, the image has uh, pretty much immediately improved and become a little bit more true to life. So let's go ahead and take a look at this uh, 10 second scene uh, with the white balancing and then look at it without so you can see the difference. You may have done it a million times before. This is a huge deal. First the thermostat, next, I don't know, uh, uh, an outlet? All right, that was it with white balancing. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna reverse it back to the beginning. I'm gonna undo the change and you can take a look at the difference. You may have done it a million times before. This is a huge deal. First the thermostat, next, so as you can see, without white balancing, it looks a little bit less like uh, a true-to-life representation of what actually took place uh, when that scene was recorded. So that's one tip to help you improve the images in iMovie, uh, which is a free editor uh, supplied with all Macs on OS X. It's not a professional editor, but there are a few things you can do to improve, such as white balancing. So please send your tips in in the comments section below, and I'll be happy to share your tips with the world. For now, I'm Matt Ryan, and I'm out.